Good morning guys from Phuket, Thailand. I'm back in Phuket in the peak of the season. It's March 2023. And in today's video, I want to show you around beautiful Phuket. But not only that, I also want to share with you how I see Phuket in the future, the evolution of Phuket, how it's gonna be maybe in the next five years, 10 years, 15 years. And yeah, I also give you an update about the island, what is going on, how is the vibe. So as you can see, it's amazing i mean the weather now is perfect it's a really really good time to come to phuket there are many good things but there are also many bad things about phuket right now and i want to share them with you in this video so sit back relax and enjoy this video <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> what's his name so cute <laughs> all right guys first point let's start to talk about how is phuket right now in march 2023 and later i will also talk about how i see phuket in the future right now it's extremely busy let me tell you everywhere you go is like traffic jam in chalong in bantao in surin in patong of course is extremely busy most of the people right now and also most of the tourists are russians there are literally thousands and thousands of russians that come into phuket every day and you will see them everywhere they speak russian most of the sign around phuket now are in russian yesterday i was at the 7-eleven in karon and it was like full of russian people everywhere <laughs> There was a huge line just to buy something at 7-eleven it's it's crazy you go to the massage shops it's jam-packed with russian tourists having foot massage thai massage oil massage So I will definitely say it's a Russian invasion right now. But of course, there are also many Europeans, many Americans, Australians, UK, Indians, Koreans, Chinese. There are basically people from all over the world. But yeah, now it's March. It's the peak of the season. As you can see, it's like a blue sky, beautiful, calm water. The beach looks incredible, crystal clear. It's just amazing to be in Phuket right now. As you can see, many boats everywhere, many things to do around the island. It's really, really nice. It's probably going to last for two more months. So March is good. April is good. May is the transition in months and then from june it will start the monsoon season and the rainy season so everything will change it will start to rain much more it will be cloudy the wind will change and also the current so it's gonna be big waves all the time it's very hard to go to the beach also the beach will get very dirty so starting from may june phuket is gonna change a lot and then it will start the high season again starting from december at the end of the year all right let's ride now through Naiharn beach and then we'll go to kata beach and we'll continue the conversation because i want to tell you how i see phuket in the future in the next few years because i think is gonna change a lot so let's go guys Naiharn is one of the best beaches in Phuket I mean look at this <laughs> to Kata Beach guys sabai sabai Let's talk a little bit about how I see the future of Phuket. Let's begin by saying that at the moment, a lot of money are flowing into Phuket, and I will say into Thailand in general, but especially in Phuket. With this war going on between Russia and Ukraine and the uncertainty all around the world, so many Russians are coming to Phuket. I mean, they were already coming before, but now it's like crazy. It's like thousands and thousands of Russians are moving to Phuket and they're renting condos, they're buying properties, they're buying cars, they're actually moving here. They are really locating here in Phuket and obviously the prices also are going very very high they're increasing a lot but I would say it's not only Russians because I see this major trend happening right now so many people from Western country like US Australia UK Europe etc are really tired of the lifestyle in the West of the people of the weather of the inflation of the crime of so many things like in general people in the West are really getting tired of this lifestyle and more and more people are considering to move in Southeast Asia in particular in Thailand and many of them are 
are considered in Phuket. So I hear all the time like people selling their house in the US, in Australia, in UK, quit their job, close their business and move to Thailand. Some of them single, some of them they move the entire family and they're basically relocating here. They're buying a new house here. They're putting their kids in the international school. They're buying a car, they're buying a motorbike and they're just moving to this tropical paradise which is Phuket and Thailand in general. And so what is my future predictions of Phuket? How I see Phuket in the next five years, 10 years, 20 years? Well, I think it's gonna get more and more luxurious as a destination. It's gonna be more and more expensive. They're literally making this island targeted for wealthy people. And to be honest, it's not a surprise because the government already a few years ago announced that their goal is to attract wealthy foreigners. So that's what Thailand wants actually. They're very honest, very transparent. And if you see the visa options available, you will see that they're creating more and more visas specifically for wealthy people or for high skilled professionals. Also, they already planned the Phuket Expo in 2028, which is gonna be a big event that are gonna bring a lot of people and a lot of money to Phuket. And they're gonna build the Phuket Island Light Rail Transit, which is basically like a railway which will connect Phuket. Hopefully it's gonna reduce the traffic, but I think it's gonna bring also more and more people. So Phuket definitely is developing very fast and very well. And yeah, man, it's interesting to see the, the future, how it's gonna be. That's just how I see things. I would love to know your predictions and maybe your thoughts about what do you think is gonna happen to Phuket in the future and what's gonna happen in Thailand in general. Share your opinion down below because I'm really curious to read different perspectives. I'm a little bit hungry. Let's find some uh, something to eat, some snacks. Can I get one uh, coconut? This one costs 40 baht. You every day here? Yep, yep. Every day? Yeah. Ah, good. Look at these guys. Looks amazing. Pad Thai with chicken, 80 baht. guys we made it to Caron Beach what do you guys think about my new camo design of the drone I like it if I lose my drone it was already hard to find it and now it's gonna be even harder to find it my friend my friend ah, how are you <laughs> good bro how are you everything good. okay very good yes <laughs> Nice. Preparing the papaya salad. Yeah. With chicken, huh? Yeah. Ah, nice. Homemade. Because when we, we buy outside or at the wrong place, Expensive. Expensive. Yeah. That's why I three three lady, one man, and ah, you cook and for me. Yeah. For everybody. Yeah, ah. they can eat together. Everything so expensive. Expensive. You, you know, one chicken before one kilo, about. Uh, 60 or 70 baht before, yeah? mm. but now 80 baht, 85 oh. or something like that. Grow everything up. grow up. Yeah, That's yeah. why everything more to more. Yeah, yeah, expensive. Yeah. Then we cook. It's better to cook. Bro, I have an idea. I can do something funny for you, for the audience, for the people watch. I give you like 1000 baht. Three people can come here to your shop and each one of them has 300 baht uh, budget. Think good idea or no? <laughs> Only three people. Yeah. The, the first three people. Oh, here. Are. Ah, this also. Ah, oh, wow. It has so many things. So, guys, the first three of you that come here, you can spend 300 baht. You can buy it for 300 baht, whatever you want. Only three people. It's already paid for. So, you just come here and choose whatever you want. And it's. Uh, it's on me. And yeah, guys, as I said, there are many good things about Phuket right now, but also many bad things. And one of the bad things is that I see so many accidents every single day. Every time I go out, I see some scooter accidents, some tourists crashing into cars, minivan crashing into cars, into scooters, just total chaos and total madness. Yeah. 
So be extremely careful. Make sure that you always have an insurance. I'll put the link of the insurance that I recommend down below in the description. And if you plan to rent a scooter, be very, very careful because Phuket is wild right now. Also, do you see this road? This road is the road from Karon Beach to Patong Beach. And I found a video of this exact road of 1988, which is the year I was born. And look at this. Yes. Guys, can you believe that this video was recorded right here between Karon and Patong Beach? Look at the road now and look at the road back then. The other day I was also talking to a gentleman that has been in Phuket for 37 years. He came here the first time in 1986 and he told me that if you go to Patong Beach, you cannot go to Kamala, you cannot go to Karon because there were no road. It was completely off-road. So you will basically just stay in Patong and you cannot really go around and explore the island. And he told me that Patong Beach was pretty much like jungle everywhere. There were very small roads, there was almost nothing. Just few hotels, Bangla Road was already there. But other than that, it was completely undeveloped, like jungle everywhere buffalo everywhere and i also found some videos and look at this man it's crazy Alright guys, here we made it to Laguna. Laguna is like the Singapore of Phuket. Everything is extremely clean, everything is well maintained, there is security everywhere, everything is just pristine, perfect. And this is the luxury area of Phuket. I would consider it almost like a gated community because it's like a bubble inside of Phuket where everything is very luxurious. There are golf courses, expensive condo, luxury villas, five-star resort, everything is very, very exclusive. And to be honest, it doesn't look like Phuket. I mean, look at this. It's like super peaceful, family friendly. Everything is quiet, everything is clean, it's just unreal real and it's basically right next to Bantau so the beach nearby is Bantau beach and it's just one minute away from here so it's a very strategic location between the airport and Surin beach Look what they're building here. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you so much for watching. So how is Phuket right now in March 2023? Well, the season is amazing. The beach is really nice. The weather is super nice. The only downside, as I said, is that the prices went really, really up. And also that it's very, very busy. There is so much traffic. It's a bit dangerous to go around. And also a little bit stressful because there are just so many people. So yeah, there are good side and also bad sides. I'm gonna stay here for a few more weeks and then I'm gonna leave Thailand for new adventure. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.